Hello, my name is Moon. I am a self-taught artist from Dubai and I would not label myself as a specific type of artist. I create different art forms. I love painting, but I'm also highly focused on digital art and it's kind of my main area. I create 2D illustrations, 3D characters, animated videos, and I also, you know, design photos as well. I kind of never stick to one style, I always switch up what I'm doing because I love exploring and I get bored easily, so I like to try different things from time to time. Most of my work is celebrating the hip hop culture and that's something I you know, dedicated my art to because I make sure my work reflects who I am and what I love and hip hop is my main passion. Ever since I was a kid, hip hop was my favorite genre, all the stories told in the music and all the creativity in, in the process of music making. All these details in the hip hop music always moved me, always made me want to create and always inspired me. So, you know, that's why my work is mainly celebrating people from that culture and spotting the light on my favorite artists and their achievements. And it just makes me feel good to show love and show support through what I create. So really, I found myself slowly Becoming part of that industry, I worked with a huge number of upcoming artists on their cover artwork and then with time I got the opportunity to work with official record labels on their artists so I had you know, the opportunity to work with really known names in the industry and from time to time I get recognized by really huge names and I would work with them as well. My art means a lot to me. It's really my happy place and this is how I view it whenever I'm facing anything in my life. I just go to my iPad, play my favorite songs and whatever inspires me, I create something to reflect that. And fun fact, I think almost every single drawing posted on my IG was inspired by a specific song and that's why the captions are huge really lyrics to those songs that inspired me so you know my art helps me a lot with self-expression as well um, I'm personally a very expressive person I always say how I feel I'm very verbal about it so it's really cool to have a different way to express how you feel without having to talk about it it's just something people can look at and enjoy and know how you're feeling you know I think it's really cool. <laughs> the way I started was really, really random. Like, I never planned on having an IG page with a following. I never planned that I'm gonna draw specific artists and I'm, I wanna get recognized. That was never in my head. It all started randomly, and I think that's a cool story. So, let's start from the beginning. Ever since I was a kid, drawing was my main passion. I, I loved drawing at a very young age, I always enjoyed it and then when I reached my teenage years I started to play around with Photoshop and I taught myself everything on Photoshop so everything I do now is probably the wrong way to do things because I learned it my way but you know I can get the work done and I, I started to design images, put photos together and then fast forward, when I got really really good at Photoshop, I just randomly decided to trace a Chris Brown photo and it was in my university years. I was really bored in class with my laptop and I'm like, let me draw Chris Brown. And I don't even know how that thought came to my head, I just know that at that time Chris Brown was my favorite artist and he used to appreciate art a lot. Um, and mind you, I did not have an IG page back then and I was not even studying anything that has to do with art it was just something that I do in my free time for myself so I randomly turned a Chris Brown photo into a digital artwork and I remember just randomly showing one of my professors and he was amazed 
he's like you need to do more of these you need to make money out of this and i never listened of course i'm like nah, nah. i don't really need to do that um but you know because i i did not think i'm good enough so he kept pushing me he's like no you need to have a platform i'm like okay so i just randomly made an ig page and posted the chris brown one and it was mainly to show my professor that look i did it okay you won but then with time i started to create and just post things and he used to be so happy about it just showing the whole class you know showcasing my work to everyone and you know i kept doing that and just i started to grow up further i saw people like fan pages picking my work reposting it tagging me telling me that i need to do more and i'm so fucking thankful for all the you know all the support i got and all the love because if i if nobody cared about what i'm doing i probably would be in a different place in my life but thankfully that motivated me that made me want to create more and then after that i would say like the first two years of me doing digital art and posting it i never had a, any purpose i was just having fun but after that i started to have like a business mindset i started to set goals for myself try to reach them every year and yeah this is how it started it's really crazy how things worked out for me and i really enjoy sitting alone with myself and thinking about how i started and i'm like wow every single artist i drew back then from the start with when my skills were really horrible every single one of them reached out to me like for example at that point in my life i was a huge big sean fan chris brown tory days these were the people i listened to the most and every single one of them recognized me i contact them i'm officially working with tory lane's marketing team uh so it's it's just crazy to this day i cannot believe that you know this happened three really, it's an amazing feeling you know especially coming where i come from and be, me being literally in the opposite side of the world and being a woman here it's just you know i'm i'm very proud of that so let's talk about art now and the different styles i enjoy creating i would say i really enjoy the animated videos uh because as i mentioned before i love when my work reflects what i like so with animated videos i love interviews a lot i love music and i'm a huge comedy fan so i combine the three of them uh, and you know make videos out of that and it's really cool to me personally i this is what makes me feel happy the most like when i see the end results for my animated videos another thing that got a lot of attention and many people tell me they like it and they want more of it which is the phases artwork where i focus you know throughout the years on a specific artist i make mini characters that reflect either their most known or iconic music videos or their iconic classic albums and i just make the characters look like the cover albums you know it's really cool to me personally and a lot of people enjoy that as well so the platforms i'm on i mainly use ig it's my main page that i post my work in and lately i got into nfts so i have my work posted on OpenSea, and i have a twitter page it's mainly for music discussions and i'm working on my own website i did not announce it yet but you know it's in the works my worst moment in art i honestly cannot think of one because you know i'm blessed enough to have really happy moments as i mentioned before it's like my happy place but i would say the worst thing that i have to face as an artist is when i do not get credit for my own work it really makes me feel disrespected and 
I feel angry. I take it very personally. Um, but other than that, you know, I face more like positive things, and I would say the most exciting moment would be whenever I get recognized by someone I look up to, and they ask me to work with them. It really makes me feel so good. Like when Snoop Dogg contacted me telling me he loves what I do and he wants me to join his team it was an amazing moment to me and then you know I got a call from his team and also the first time I worked with a label it was for Rich the Kid, Stana for Vegas and Cash Money AP uh, that was my first official cover artwork for you know like an, a known name in the industry that was a very exciting moment to me i remember almost crying when i got the phone call and uh i really cannot pick one specific exciting moment um you know when i first got a follow from denzel curry i remember just dancing in my room every time i get recognized by someone i really like their art and their work i just be dancing and jumping around and feeling super happy so yeah i hope every single artist that dreams of that gets that uh, my growth been really slow over the years i really grew slowly um but you know i don't mind that as long as it's, it's a steady grow um it's cool to look back on my journey and see how i started and where i am today um and i would say my main ultimate goal is to have my name as a known artist of course everyone wants that i know people to know about my work and i want to work as a full-time artist i don't have to work for any company or any boring job this is really my dream <laughs> i want to make enough money from my art that i just don't have to struggle with other things i'm getting there slowly as i mentioned before it's really slow but i believe that one day i'll get there and if i were to give shout outs i would give it to every single person that showed me love whether it was commenting on my work or ordering art from me or commissions picking me to do their covers and or sending me messages just showing love and support or sharing my work to other people every form of it i just appreciate and i'm so thankful for that and a special shout out to you toxic tro because you've been always supportive and showing me love in the dms and the series you're creating is so dope like you're legendary for doing this honestly spotting the light on different artists and you know telling their stories i think this is really cool and thank you so much for this i really enjoyed reflecting and talking about my journey